Okay, um, today I'm just going to share with you some knowledge on how to differentiate. For example, if you go to Europe, uh, and if you come to uh, on the flea market or some, uh, yeah, usually uh, brick and bricks shops, um, yeah. Um, how can you tell between a Swiss watch? And a genuine Swiss, Swiss watch, or a uh, one that is uh, replica. That's either make in China. Um, okay, so here there's two. The black one is the Rodania automatic crystals, um, and the other one is Berman and Marcel Geneva quartz. Okay, one clear sign. The first indication you can see is the belt, the leather belt itself. This leather belt looks pretty, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, tacky, right? And uh, another indication that you can see is, uh, look at the, f you know, and if you see this, at the end, at the bottom here, it has Swiss, right? Which is um, one of the good example, but uh, some of the the good replica one will have that. But this one, there's no Swiss made here on this one. We can see there's no Swiss made here. Right. So that's a good indication. And the next one is we you turn the watch around. I'll turn the watch around. And usually, if it's a worn watch, and you can see that this is really worn in. And the finishes is a bit rough around that the polished things right it's rough okay whereas this one is a bit uh better finish and um yeah it just says swiss automatic inkle book um reference number 2826 well uh yes i bought this both when i was traveling europe as a free flea market and I got both of it and it's just to show you how can you tell a difference between a genuine and a fake one well someone might say well this can be a um, uh, a fake one as well uh, yes some high quality replica you can do but I shall show you and we open up the case let's find the gap there is a gap that you it opens up. You, yeah, I think it's here. The gap is here from the rock. No, it's not there. Maybe here, I think. Okay, good. I think it's here. It's a bit hard to open, but it's there. Yep, I have to find a place where to open this. I can't see there's a gap there, but there isn't one. Um, I'll try to open it, but uh, maybe on the part two, I'll try to open it. But this is a journey one, as you can see. But when I try to adjust this arm, you can see that the crown is coming off. All right, I'll show you how to fix this the next time around. Uh, how to fix this arm right push back in um yeah uh, wait for part two and i shall see how to open this case the back case and then how to fix the the crown um these are best basic skill if you're a watch collector that will save you some money instead of sending to the watchmaker that will cost you a big offer of money to fix it if you can fix it yourself um thank you for watching my video and let's see how try to open the case later on part two thank you for watching cheers okay so i managed to open it it's a bit tight so what i do is if you go around the edges and a knife and you see there's a groove there and i just peel open it and 
Voila, look at the movement. Beautiful Swiss movement. 21 jewel Swiss. Look at the high quality finish. Right, the model is 2864. If you can see it here, you can see it. I'll get a tweezer. And you can see the model number here. Look at the movement, it's moving really good. Yeah, the balance stuff is moving. Automatic. It's the automatic um, weight, counterweight is it's going up and down. Yep. Clean. So that's the saying that goes do not judge the book by its cover. And now I'm going to put it back in again. Collapse it. Voila. Uh oh. Actually, I'm supposed to fix the the stem. But, um, yep, that will be the next video, I guess. But there's a tissue to show you how's the difference between the two. Um, the Swiss one and the, uh, and the China made one. I shall open up the China made one just to, just to show you. see there's a there must be a gap somewhere here ah there's a so it's always have here see the edge there's a gap here then just peels it open and you can see that it's a yeah it's a generic uh course movement yeah so they tell if it's a swiss one you put you'll be stamp swiss basic swiss but um yep there's nothing here see that no sweet stem uh, it's pretty generic um trying to make course watches um even though it's uh bell and uh, bermin and Marcel. okay you close it back and that's how you differentiate between the uh, um there's clear indicators of whether it's um fake one or not uh, let's go through again Number one, leather belt. Two, the Swiss made here. And third, the finishes of the surrounding is worn off. That means it's not, you know, the plating is not high, um, uh, high in quality. Slight plating, and the finishes is just a bit rough around the edges. And uh, that's how you differentiate between um that a uh, fake replica watch hope you learned something today and uh, to the next video see you